Welcome to this presentation on the Trinity Distribution Enhancements module from Dynavistics. The Distribution Enhancements module provides several new areas of functionality to improve the effectiveness of your inventory control and sale transaction processing. These cover additional inventory and customer inventory coding methods, barcode management, part delivery management and margin control within sales documents, and enhancements to stock take and sales batches. In this video, however, we're concentrating on inventory allocation and specifically the ability to release inventory from allocated orders and manage inventory allocations and back orders. We will also look at a new flexible stock inquiry screen. Let's look at these in more detail. The purpose of this screen is to view all the orders to which an item is currently allocated and select one or more order lines from which to release the inventory. These orders will then be placed on back order, making the released inventory available to be allocated to other transactions. In this example, we have five allocated orders. If we drill down on the allocated total, we can see that the bulk of the transactions comprise fulfillment orders. In this exercise, we're just concerned with order documents only. Back on the main screen, we can quickly mark or unmark all transactions to be released. But in this instance, we will release the first and the second orders, leave the third one alone, and release three of the total quantity of five on the fourth order. We have released a total of eight cases, comprising ten to a case. The to be released figure is shown in the base unit. Once we are happy with our selection, we select the process button and the stock is released back into available, and our changes are now reflected in the redisplayed screen. This release inventory screen is also available from within sales transaction entry via the additional tab. This is the inventory allocation management window showing an item in our southern site. Stock figures can be viewed in any unit in a unit of measure schedule and we can also view stock quantities held at other sites as well as a detailed view of allocated transactions. This screen is designed to give the user an overall view of current sales orders to which inventory is allocated and orders which are on back order. Within this screen, inventory can be released from allocated orders and assigned to back orders, and if required, back orders can then be assigned to released purchase orders. So how does this work? In this example, we have four orders with a total demand of 12 and stock on hand of eight. The first order line is on back order. The second order line has a quantity of two on back order, with four allocated. If we drill down to the order in detail, we can see that the customer ordered six. Orders three and four are fully allocated. By ticking the release box next to the fourth and last order line, the allocated quantity of two has been released from that order and is now available to be reallocated to another order line. In this example, I'm going to allocate it to the first order line. Once we select the process button and redisplay the screen, we can see that our changes have taken effect. These next examples show how we can continue to make changes, including the allocation and deallocation of partial line quantities. Rather than managing back orders on an individual order basis, Distribution Enhancements contains a routine that allows the user to allocate stock to back orders by range with a review option. The resulting list can be amended as required. Finally, there is the Item Site Quantities screen. As well as providing a concise view of stock of an item across all branches and sites based on any of the item's units of measure, the user can also select which quantity fields are to be displayed from the drop-down list available. The Inventory Allocation Management functionality within Distribution Enhancements is designed to help you intervene, understand and reprioritize allocated demand as circumstances dictate. This presentation is one of several short videos on our website that cover additional inventory, purchasing and order processing functionality that will complement the Dynamics GP system. I hope you found this presentation interesting. 
If you'd like to know more, please schedule your free demonstration today. Thank you.